Before we start with the lesson, please click the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. In this lesson you will explore the different regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. The learning task set here will lead you to compare the relative wavelengths of different forms of electromagnetic waves. And now, let's have the brief history of the electromagnetic theory. The original players in the electromagnetism are Ersted, Ampere, Faraday, Henry and Maxwell, along with many others who laid the groundwork for the understanding of the concepts of electromagnetic theory. A Danish physicist, Hans Christian Ørsted discovered accidentally in 1820, that magnetic needle is deflected, when the current in a nearby wire varies a phenomenon establishing a relationship between electricity and magnetism. Andre Marie Ampere, influenced by Ørsted's discovery, performed a series of experiments designed to elucidate the exact nature of the relationship between electric current flow and magnetism, as well as the relationships governing the behavior of electric currents in various types of conductors. These experiments led Ampere to formulate his famous law of electromagnetism, which called after him. Ampere's law, that describes mathematically the magnetic force between two electrical currents. Michael Faraday made his first discovery of electromagnetism in 1821. He took the work of Ørsted and Ampere on the magnetic properties of electrical current as a starting point, and in 1831 achieved an electrical current from a changing magnetic field, a phenomenon known as electromagnetic induction. Joseph Henry, while working with electromagnets in 1829, made important design improvements by insulating the wire instead of the iron core. He was able to wrap a large number of turns of wires around the core and thus greatly increase the power of the magnet. He had made an electromagnet that could hold 2,063 pounds, a world record at the time. A brilliant physicist and mathematician. James Clerk Maxwell proposed Faraday's electromagnetic induction to happen even in empty space. The symmetry between the fields fascinated him so much. He added two basic principles. 1. A changing electric field in space produces a magnetic field. 2. A changing magnetic field in space produces electric field. Maxwell proposed that the alteration of electric and magnetic fields, generating and propelling each other in space, can be thought of as a form of moving energy. Maxwell further thought of this form of energy as a wave, called electromagnetic wave. It was only after the death of Maxwell, which a German physicist, Heinrich Hertz, designed an experiment set up that was electrical in nature and able to generate and detect electromagnetic waves. Learning task number one. Match the scientists in column A with their contributions in the development of the electromagnetic theory in column B. Exploring the electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum is a continuum of electromagnetic waves arranged to frequency and wavelength. It is gradual progression from waves of lowest frequencies to waves highest frequencies. According to the increasing frequency, the M spectrum includes radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, X-rays and gamma rays. These waves do not have exact dividing region. The different types of electromagnetic waves are defined by the amount of energy carried by or possessed by the photons. Photons are bundles of wave energy. Among the EM waves, the gamma rays have photons of high energies while radio waves have photons with the lowest energies. On the other hand in terms of wavelength, the wavelength of radio waves can be compared to the size of a football field. While wavelength of gamma rays are small as the nuclei of an atom. The region of electromagnetic spectrum. Radio and TV waves. Radio waves have the longest wavelengths and lowest frequencies in the electromagnetic spectrum. 
They range from the length of a football to larger than our planet. They can be produced by making electricity oscillate in an antenna and are used to transmit sound and pictures over long distance. Wavelength They are used in satellite communication because they can penetrate the ionosphere. A layer of the Earth's atmosphere in which there is a high concentration of charged particles. Infrared waves Infrared waves are waves that lie in the region beyond the red and visible spectrum. The wavelength of infrared waves is too long to be visible to the naked eye. Infrared radiation is most noticeable when given off by hot objects, especially when objects are red hot. Visible light waves Visible light is mixed up only a small portion of the entire electromagnetic spectrum. When white light passes through a prism, it is separated into constituents colors such as red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Violet has the shortest wavelength and red has the longest. Ultraviolet waves Ultraviolet waves are invisible radiation that lie beyond the violet end of the visible spectrum. Ultraviolet light has a shorter wavelength than the violet light and carry more energy. The sun is our main source of ultraviolet light. X-rays X-rays have short wavelength and high frequencies and are very penetrating. They are produced by the rapid acceleration of electrons in X-rays machines that collide with atoms. These atoms emit X-rays. Gamma rays Gamma rays are high-energy waves produced from nuclear reactions. They have shorter wavelength than X-rays because energy changes within the nucleus are normally much larger than those that take place outside E. They are more dangerous than X-rays because radioactive substances emit them. Study the given illustration and complete the missing information on the electromagnetic spectrum.